Typically year round, the water here is crystal clear. You can see it right to the bottom. On a good day, you can see everything from stingrays, skates, every sort of fish imaginable, manatees, dolphins. The stench was so horrible that you couldn't even hardly breathe. It was almost like an Armageddon type situation where you could see the tide coming in around the turn here and it was like a blanket of death. Since we have a very flat geography here in Florida, many of our water issue problems stem from the fact that whether nutrients from fertilizer, whether it's stormwater runoff, whether it's chemicals or pesticides or different contaminants from automobiles, all of those flow down just five feet subsurface and when they hit the water table, they're able to saturate and spread right out. Muchos animales muertos, el turismo, los hoteles vacíos, los restaurantes, las concesiones de las playas. Eh, nosotros trabajando con máscaras, con filtros, las playas donde podemos encontrar un día normal 3.000, 4.000 personas. Teníamos 4 o 5 que llegaban, se ponían mal, tosían. I owned a stand-up paddleboarding company. We lost our business because of cyanobacteria and red tide. Cyanobacteria and Karenia brevis, which is the red tide organism, they feed on the nutrients found in sewage and fertilizer. When the conditions are right, they bloom. And when they bloom, things die. You have this fluorescent green guacamole looking stuff that washes up on the beach. It smells so bad as beyond description. It was devastating for my life, my business. Uh, it, it broke us. This is like caused by residents, it's caused by farmers, it's caused by industry. This is like a state issue. It's really dangerous. I mean, we're on the verge of a human health crisis here on the Treasure Coast and across the state and in Southwest Florida as well. The climate change has a big deal to do with it. Those harmful algal blooms, they love nutrients, they love carbon dioxide, and they love heat. And we're giving them exactly what they love. In two of my son's three summers, I had to send them out to Wyoming to stay with my mom. The toxins in these harmful algal blooms, they will seriously damage a child that cause all sorts of developmental issues. They also have serious repercussions for adults. I mean, from respiratory ailments to eye and ear infections, and there's even a connection to like Lou Gehrig's disease and early onset Alzheimer's. It became clear to me, being a native plant expert I and mean, being part of the Florida Native Plant Society as well, one of the way to fix these water quality issues is to put native plants back where they should be because of the fact that they help at nutrient uptake and they don't require any additional fertilizers or pesticides. So as Ocean Friendly Garden Coordinator, my role is to essentially meet with different organizations to help them come up with more sustainable ideas for their landscape designs. So the Clean Water Initiative is advocating for policies that will keep our waters clean and we're really building community awareness so that people can become empowered and feel like that they can have a voice with their local elected officials and state officials to monitor our water quality and reduce pollution. Blue Water Task Force program consists of a team of about 15 or so volunteers. Surfrider does have this program nationally, so we thought we would institute it here in Miami Beach. Florida Healthy Beaches program is testing Florida beaches all along the coastline. What they're testing for is Enterococcus, which is a fecal bacteria found in sewage. We had been noticing here in Miami-Dade County that we were getting a high frequency of poor water quality. We selected six of their 13 sites. They are testing every Monday and we are testing every Thursday. We go out and we collect this small sample of water in the ocean and we are finding that our results are pretty consistent with what the state is finding. Our results are available to the community for surfers coming to the beach. For the first time, people say it's not a Republican issue, it's not a Democratic issue, it's a water issue. I do have hope. I joined Surfrider and I'm going to help in any way possible. Thank you.